Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to review uh, the latest microphone from Rode. This is the NTG5. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, uh, then maybe you'll remember a long time ago I did a video uh, featuring the Rode NTG4 Plus, which I kind of was in my uh, sort of at this indie audio filmmaking setup that I showed off. Uh, so I had the recorder there, different, you know, uh, uh, shock mount, boom pole, all that stuff. Uh, and that is still actually to this day my uh, kind of go-to recording setup for these lower end productions. Obviously on a big film that I'm working on, uh, there's a whole audio department that I have nothing to do with. So they use their own equipment. But for kind of these small self-finance projects, that's still what I've been using. Uh, Rode sent me this microphone, uh, not because I asked them, not because I necessarily was really looking for a new microphone, because like I said, I'm still happy with the, the Rode NTG4 Plus, but they, they basically were like, hey Tom, try it out, there's this new mic, uh, if you like the previous one, you might like this one, so I said sure. Uh, and actually, this maybe brings me quickly to a, a, a maybe a little point about when companies send me stuff, uh, and this is, you know, this happens with a lot of people who do things, on, you know, like reviews on YouTube, uh, when they send me stuff, there is obviously n uh, no expectation of basically me, or at least in my case, I don't know in other people's case, but I don't ever accept money and sign a contract or something like that that says specifically, hey, you have to say all these nice things, you know, you know, this whole list of things you want you to say about our product. Uh, I I review products and whether company sends it to me or I buy it most most cases I buy it with my own money or it's a loaner or rental so I can try it out before I actually buy it uh, or some cases companies send me stuff and uh, and like I said makes no difference I just review the stuff and actually I would even say whenever I've bought my own products and then I reviewed them I tend to be maybe I think like subconsciously a bit more positive because it's you know I already put my own money into it uh, so it's kind of, you know, like that whole thing where like somebody buys, let's say, a really expensive camera or the same thing with like somebody buys a really expensive car, turns out to be a piece of crap and then, you know, they're talking to their friends, but then they're like, you know, trying to justify their, their purchase and they're like, no, no, but it's this car or this camera is really good because it's got this feature and all that stuff. Well, in the case when a company sends me a product, I don't really care if it's good or not. And and it, it might be hard for you to believe, but again, and you know, I, I don't really care whether I offend the company or not, because if a company puts out a bad product and I say it's good, and then somebody out there tries it out, then I, I'm going to be very easily called on it. Or and you know, and at the end of the day, that company, unless they fix their product, is probably going to go down under. And I don't really care because I, I, I just care about you know, if I'm going to tell you guys something is good, that's something that I recommend. It actually has to be good in my opinion. Now sometimes my opinion and your opinion might vary a little bit, but you know what I mean. Uh, because if a company does put out like crappy products, then uh, probably most likely I'll just stop talking about them and they'll probably go out of business. And in that case, I have no reason to be like, you know, I guess, again, have any affiliation. Now if I was receiving money to review things, which again, I've never done, but if I was, then yeah, that would be a completely other story. Or if, for example, like I know, that, you know, there's uh, there's companies that have been sending invites, which I've always turned down to like these special events or like a weekend getaway in some nice exotic location, and they pay for your flight and everything and your accommodations and food, and I'm sure it's great. But then I would feel probably like a little bit pressured or just weird that you know I'm there at this event and you know I, I don't really want to be like you know trash talking about that company that just paid all this money to fly me there and do all these you know nice things uh, uh and also because i'd be maybe worried that they they might if i'm really negative they might not pay for my flight back but uh but anyways uh, like i said that's why you'll never probably see me at any of those events uh because again unless i can you know it's like specifically i can say i'll go but i you know obviously i'm free to say whatever i want so in this case, like I said, they send this to me and uh, and there's a lot of products, actually a lot of companies send me a lot of stuff. Uh, if you guys had a look around my studio here or my garage, I mean, it's just, it's it's full of boxes. Uh, and uh, and I don't actually get a chance to, to get to everything. And not only that, but there's a lot of stuff that companies send me that I'm not really interested. Like I've gotten, you know, obviously stuff for filmmaking, but I've even had companies send me like, clothing, uh, medication, like th all kinds of things, like dieting pills. I mean, I, I have no idea why they send this crap, but anyways, they send it to me and most of these things I never review because I'm not interested in it. 
This obviously I'm interested in because I love the Rode microphones and a lot of the Rode gear uh, that I've reviewed on this channel. Uh, I love the previous mic, so yeah, anyways, let me review this one. Let me see here. Oh, there's actually a letter here. Okay, so let's quickly read the letter. <laughs> Um, meet the MTG5, your new favorite shotgun microphone. Okay, a few key points. Revolutionary acoustic port design, which improves acoustic transparency, resulting in a more natural, uncolored sound. It's extremely lightweight, just 76 grams, and very short for a shotgun microphone, just 203 millimeters. Wow, okay, that is short. Um, what is this? Uh, super cardioid pol polar pattern. A smooth of axis response, tailored frequency response with high, uh, with tight low end, uh, da -da -da, which helps curtail wind noise. It's crisp, sparkly highs, um, all that stuff. As a circuitly, the, the circuitry has been updated and improved. And the NTG5 produces very low self noise of just 10 dBA. Okay, if this is true, because again, companies make a lot of claims, but then it turns out it's not true. But if this is if this is true, then that, that is pretty good. Um, and then the, it has error bias and all that stuff. Anyways, I won't bore you with this whole thing. Let me get to the, the actual mic. All right. all right, so these are all the things you get once you unpack, go through all the boxes. I just sped that up for you guys. Uh, and this is actually called, it's not just the Rode NTG5, it's the Location Recording Kit. That's what it says on the box. So this is actually all the things that you get. So obviously you get the mic, little protective pouch, a uh, standard sort of a microphone stand, uh, you know, kind of a hard mount. Uh, you get the wind foam, which is really cool, and this really feels like high quality, and it has this kind of rubber here inlet, which is good. It has your standard foam, uh, you know, windscreen protector, and then you have the shock mount, uh, which I actually had to assemble while I was unpacking it, but uh, you just have to do it the first time. Uh, and, you, and it's cool because you can kind of customize the position of this, so you can make it kind of go a little bit left or right, uh, depending if you want to, let's say, use it with another microphone. But this one's short, so I did that uh, that position. Uh, and then they give you this sort of a shielded microphone XLR cable that you can feed through this handle, and you can, like now, right now, I'm just going to leave it like this because I'll actually connect it to my recorder so we can do some tests. But you could just, for example, hide it in here, and then you would just connect your extension this way. Uh, and then here's the mic. And I'll tell you guys, it is incredibly light. It really is. Uh, like, it is, you know, like, w when I had the whole box with all the things, obviously it doesn't feel that light. But the mic itself feels very light. Um, and what I also like is that it kind of, I mean, other than obviously the opening here for the XLRs, it seems like it's completely, like, seamless. Like, there's no... There's no, yeah, I mean, you know, like even this thing here is like, there's some kind of a screen there protecting it. So, uh, and actually that's one thing that when I read up about the mic before I opened it, uh, is that it's, it says that it's uh, designed to withstand like elements, so moisture, uh, sand, wind, things like that, uh, and even drop tests like the, that Rode has done on this. All kinds of tests, I think even like high and low temperature tests they've, they've done to really make sure that this is a great location microphone. So again, you can take it in all kinds of environment, all kinds of weather. Um, so anyways, let me hook this bad boy up here. I'm gonna put this thing. Oh, actually, well, right now I don't need it, but I'll do test with this after. And um, yeah, just like this, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's fairly light, but yeah, you view, for example, or filming outside. Like, let's say if you want to use this for um, not just like an actual film production, like recording, you know, during live takes, but let's say recording sound effects for your film afterwards. Uh, then again, this is really cool because you can just have a little recorder on the side. And this pistol grip is nice and comfy. And they did actually update this from their previous pistol grip. So what I like now is that it just, the handle feels smoother, has this kind of a soft kind of rubber coating. Uh, but I also like that you just have this knob here for tightening and you know, basically adjusting the tension. And this thing itself is just smoother, less complicated, and the adjustment here and goes smoother. It doesn't have those kind of little teeth that kind of made it kind of click as you went to you know, change the angle. So that's kind of cool. Um, and overall, yeah, this is this is gonna be great. Like if you're just starting out, 
uh, these are the kind of kits that I would say you know you should be looking into something that you can use it for simple handheld stuff uh, because even a lot, a lot of times when you're doing takes on an indie film it's usually a small set you can have your sound guy just kind of go in there with their hand like this now sometimes you if you want to extend this and attach it to a boom pole then obviously you can because you have the here the 3 8 uh, thread on the bottom so you can attach it to a standard boom pole uh, but you know the key thing about this is obviously the sound so let's see how this sounds I've got my recorder here which is the trusty zoom h5 I know it's old but it still works and like I said this is what I use in my my whole indie audio uh, setup Plug in the headphones. All right, let's plug the microphone here. All right, I, yep, I can hear it right away. Test, test, test. So I'm just gonna leave this here. Test, test. Test, one, two, three. Okay, way too loud. <laughs> okay, test, test, test. Test, mic, one, two, three. Mic, one, two, three. Okay, so that's, that's good. So I'm gonna start recording. And I believe I'm recording now. Yep. So I'm recording right now. Uh, and I'm just going to let you guys actually, uh, you know, I'm going to switch to this mic. And just for comparison, the microphone I'm using here in my studio is the Deity microphone. You know, it's a good microphone. I love using it. That's what I use for all of the, this kind of in-studio stuff. And obviously in my studio here, it's not like a big professional sound stage. So I have heating going on here and things like that. So there's always some background noise. But right now I'm just going to record just uh, just the silence here in this room and yeah it does sound incredibly like like I per, like right now I can't really hear it on the headphones uh, now uh, this is how I sound I'm about I don't know, half a foot away from the microphone uh, and this is how it sounds and I'm slowly gonna basically point the microphone off to one side and the other so you guys can kind of hear uh, how the roll off sounds. So this is very directional right now, obviously pointed right at me. And I'm just going to point the microphone while I'm talking off to one side. And definitely I can hear the, the difference, but uh, I do like it. Yeah, it is a kind of a soft roll off. It doesn't feel like like a lot of, you know, shotgun directional mics. They're so directional in a way that uh, if you just go like slightly pointed off a little, a little bit to one side, it suddenly you hear too much of a difference. Whereas with this, it's a bit more, see now I really hear the difference, but it really, you really gotta kind of, you know, point it off of axes. Now, um, I don't know, I, I obviously hear some sounds here through my headphones. Hopefully the audio recording is good because uh, this microphone is just, you know, it's here touching the table. So that that's obviously making some noise. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is how the microphone sounds. I mean, it sounds really good for me. Sounds like nice and crisp, but it doesn't seem like it's coloring the sound. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't amplify the lows or the highs or anything like that. And by the way, I have all the like, you know, high cut, low cut, all those things turned off here in the recorder. I'm just recording basically the clean audio. And I'm actually going to let you guys download this audio file so you can hear it for yourself. You can you can test out then and, you know, bring it into your editing or, or your audio, uh, you know, editing software or video editing. And you can basically play around with it. You can then see for yourself what the actual noise floor is on this microphone and how it sounds. But like right now, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Just the way that it sounds nice and crisp. And it really picks up. Like I'm actually surprised how well it picks up. I think it is in my mind. Not, not that the NTG4 Plus wasn't good. I mean, it was very sensitive. But this kind of seems a bit more similar to like the, the Sennheiser, you know, 416. Uh, microphone like you can really hear like like you know if I move my tongue in my mouth or like I don't want to make it sound too like nasty for you guys but literally like you hear everything here in my mouth like because the microphone is fairly close and and you just hear those little like high things which is always good like it's better to capture more frequencies so then later on when you're mixing the sound if you don't want those high basically kind of crisp sounds you can always obviously bypass them or you can cut that or you can cut the low frequencies too with the, like rumble and things like that uh but other i mean you know to my ear right now just live recording this this sounds pretty damn good so so i like this um i like the fact also that this microphone is like i said it's very light and th and that you get this like i said it's like a whole kit so when you buy this you get the whole kit here with the handle the mic and this nice windscreen which 
it means you can right away start recording with this. I mean, obviously you need your recorder, but if you buy a recorder and you're ready, uh, and then if you want, you can buy a boom pole, to, like later on you can add to it, uh, or you can just use, use, like if you're really going indie, you can use like a standard, you know, boom pole basically, or like make one out of, a, out of a broomstick. I've done that before, trust me, and it works great. Um, and just get that and get an XLR extension cable and, and you're golden. Um, right now, let me just quickly test out also like how it is, uh, for example, oh, well, actually, let me test out with the wind. So I'm going to right now just blow on, on the microphone. So yeah, I mean, it's it, obviously you're going to hear it. I'm like really close to it. You hear something, but you don't hear this. Whereas if I take this off. Okay. So this is how it sounds. Um, and it's to me, to be honest, it sounds like it's there's not that much of a difference. It doesn't muffle that basically the windscreen doesn't muffle the sound that much. I think now that yeah, the high end kind of the high end sounds frequencies come in a little bit, maybe even more crisp. Uh, but they were equally good with with that on, uh, so I like that. And um, but now, for example, just to just to comparison, I'm going to blow on the mic with the same intensity. So yeah, it definitely this thing obviously helps. So that's like a good thing to have. And then uh, if you want, they give you this thing, which I would use this probably more for indoors, like in case, for example, you know, you do, when, wherever you don't have a, like actual wind blowing. But let's say maybe you'll have the talent, like, you know, I don't know, have, I don't know, blow some air or something on the mic. Maybe there's a danger of that or, or some, or just danger from, you know, moving the mic too fast, left and right, getting some of that wind noise. That's where this thing, this foam thing is really good. Um, but like I said, just more for indoor kind of use. But anyways, again, this is how the microphone sounds. Uh, I like the build quality of it. I like the overall, the whole kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys download this f uh, audio file so you'll be able to hear it. Um, uh, you'll be able to download it on my website, which is tomantosfilms.com. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also um, do more field testing, first of all. Test it out outside, see, for example, in different wind situations and things like that, how it performs. Uh, and then you let you guys again download that sound so you, can, you guys can hear that, you know, how it performs out in the field. Uh, and then hopefully do like a follow-up preview uh, or review of this microphone once I've actually had a chance to use it on an actual production because right now this is obviously just kind of more unboxing and seeing how it sounds here but uh, the true test is obviously using it on a production and see how it performs uh, and I'm really curious on how well the, the, the weathering on this and the, the shock mount absorption and all that stuff because Especially when I'm working on these indie productions where I have like one guy literally handling the mic and the recorder and all that stuff. A lot of times like, you know, he'll put the mic aside, somebody knocks it, it falls down or, you know, or we're rolling really fast and the rain starts, you know, falling down and everything gets wet. So that's where uh, this is going to be a good test for that. So definitely once I have a chance to use it, like I said on that, I'll do a follow up video. But until then. If you guys want more information, as always, go to my website, tomantosfilms.com, download the files, and while you're there, if you haven't already, subscribe to my newsletter. So uh, when I do get too much of this gear here that I have in my studio, I'm going to actually be doing some giveaways, but only to people who are subscribed to my newsletter, only on my website, and I'm not doing any of these kind of YouTube contests, giveaway things that I used to do before because I had some bad experiences and I got kind of burned with it. So. Let's just say I'm not doing it there. But if you're subscribed to my newsletter, ever so one, yeah, I, I might do a meetup. And then if you guys want some gear, I, trust me, I got like gimbals and things like that. Extra microphones that the company sent me that I, some of them I just use it once just for a review and then that's it. And some of them I never even have the time or interest in using them, but maybe you guys are interested in it. So again, follow my website, subscribe to my newsletter, and otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Bye.